Hey everybody, Danny from Board Game Sanctuary. Today we are going to be building an awesome transportable board that can be used to set up board games and easily move them around your play area or your house without having to deconstruct everything before you do so. I'm excited. Let's go! So this is a message board that I bought from my local stationery store and I've kind of been using it to set up board games and transport it to the dining table when it's time to play. And so I've been looking for something that's a little bit more sturdy. So what we've decided to do is build one ourselves. So we're using this dune colored sandy felt to cover one side of our board and this hobby grass that I've purchased online to cover the other side of the board. Also went to our local hardware store to buy some of these wooden edging pieces and some fancy nails. Need some glue, an area to set up like so, and this is gonna be the board. Chosen a particularly thick piece of timber so it won't bend over time and it's got a bit of weight to it. And here is the project area. Get it all set up. I picked this meadowy grassy effect, so it'd be really good. So if you ever, if we ever want to play like campaign games with miniatures and models, I could put some terrain on it or some really cool rocks to kind of create a landscape effect. So it's going to be a double-sided board. We're going to lay the terrain glue all over the board first and then spread it all out evenly before laying the dune colored felt on top. Turns out the edges of the felt are a bit too thin, so the glue is not actually holding. So I think we're just gonna have to rely on nailing it in once we put the trimming on the edge. Using this cool L-shaped piece of edging timber. I just had a really cool idea. What we could do is buy little small like wooden coasters and then cut terrain out and stick them on these wooden coasters and then that when you connect the coasters together you could create different map configurations. The tricky part now is trying to work out how the two uh, edges are going to meet at the corner because you kind of have to saw them at 45 degree angles to each other and then make sure that they slot together nice and neatly. And so I totally knew this was going to happen. It's not cut the right way. of different ways we're trying to get that 45 degree angle cut in some of these edge pieces and this is proving to be the hardest challenge of all. We're <laughs> uh, using a saw and a chipper and a sander because the actual pieces are chisel. actually a chisel. Because these pieces are quite thin um, using a sander makes it actually really hard to see to sand it down to the right angle. So we sawed it too hard and a piece came off. So I'm going to try and sand them together to make those ends even. The whole process is evolving and while we were working we found a redback spider. So add one to that threat level. Nailed in these decorative nails, looking good, looking good. Kind of looks like a billiards table or a mini golf putt-putt course that we're creating here. We needed the pencil that was in my ear. Just to rule that final little measurement and fill in that little gap. I think at the end we're just probably going to fill in the ends with a bit of putty. Maybe do a little bit of lacquer on it as well. So we got some putty to fill in the corners of our transport board. Look at that edge nailing. 
Oh. The best part is sometimes deciding which game to play on at first. Hmm. So many to choose from. So what I've got here are some rocks that I've collected at the beach along my travels. And I often, when I go and look for rocks, I look for things with a little bit of character, some interesting mountainous shapes. And then what you can do is arrange them out on your board. So I might place this really big one here. And I love this one because it's kind of got angles to it. It's also got these really cool grooves that go all the way around. Very nice. I got this rock from a beach called Boneyard Beach. And then we could place the rocks kind of at an angle like that. Maybe this one could be like a rock that will appear in the foreground. Use these smaller rocks in the distance. You can always buy like little grassy things to put on top. If you put a little bit of glue to give a bit more texture. I'm trying to get the picture right. I've got these cool mechs from the board game Scythe. And they're gonna go really well in this image. So I might kind of put this cool dude on the bison walking through like a little canyon. And then in the background, I'll just stage some of these mechs. So they're kind of in the right perspective. Kind of want to put them in a way where they're part of the scenery, but not imposing. folks we finally finished the do-it-yourself portable tabletop board made from basic materials that you can find at your local hardware store I'm gonna have so much fun building lots of miniature landscapes for different cool miniature campaigns as well as pre-setting up some of my games on that board so that we still have our dining table throughout the week and then when it comes to the weekend or Friday night, I'm gonna bring out the board all set up ready to play our next big heavy Euro game. Thank you once again for joining me for another Board Game Sanctuary vlog. If you really like my videos, please don't forget to head over to my Patreon page and support me on Patreon. Give uh, this video a like and consider subscribing. And if you want to see some more cool board game content, head over to my YouTube page. There is something for everyone. See you next time. Goodbye.